you for tuning in. Our story today brings back memories within all of us. At some point in life, we must inevitably work with and deal with an awkward situation that we got ourselves into. How we go about doing so is a matter of personal choice and motivation. Afterwards, do you go about and avoid the person? Make their world a living hell? Jive each other throughout the day? Of course, the most mature and responsible action is to deal with it and get the job done. But what fun would that be? So, right now we have Tori, and she is going to tell us a story about an awkward situation that she got herself into, and hopefully we'll have a good resolution to it. Tori, here you go. Okay, so in high school, I worked as a waitress at a really small pizza restaurant, a family-run pizza restaurant, and there were a lot of high, other high school kids that worked with me. Uh, one of them was a dishwasher, and his name, we'll call him John, worked with me. Uh, one night, we all went out bowling together as just uh, for fun as company. Everybody went out together, the owners and everybody. And he ended up asking me to go to his prom with him at the bowling alley. And I said, sure, you know, no problem. That would be fun. So before we go to the prom, the rumors start flying around that because he paid for my ticket, he was expecting, you know, some things, things from me. So I started freaking out a little bit and getting really nervous to uh, go to this prom. So, so did you still go with him? Oh, I did. I still went because it was only like a couple days before, so I couldn't be, you know, I couldn't say, hey, uh, I'm not going anymore. I have to wash my hair or something. So I ended up going and went, got to the pictures and everything. It was really awkward. Then we actually got to the prom, and it was even more awkward because I didn't know anybody there except for uh, him and another kid that worked with us. And he kept asking me to dance, and I kept saying, no, I don't dance. I really don't want to. And so the problem was really awful. Um, I get home that night, and I start getting text messages from these other girls and other people from his high school saying, you know, you're, you're so mean. I can't believe you were that mean to him. You know, he never did anything to you, and blah, 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 blah. And, and you've never met these people any at any other point in your life? No. It was random text messages, like numbers I've never seen, people I had no idea who they were. So that really sucked for me. So the next day I go into work, guess who's on the schedule to work with me? Who? John. So we had to work together all day, and it was the most awkward situation ever. And the owner actually ended up finding out about the whole situation because John was really good friends with the owner's son. So that was really awkward for me. I got like a sit-down conversation with the boss about how I should behave and how I was so in the wrong. And no one knew my side of the story, of course. So I ended up quitting the pizza joint, not because of that, but because my other job that I was working at the same time was offering me more hours. So I stopped working at this pizza place. I'm not speaking to him for a few a few years. We just haven't spoken to each other. So so time's gone along, and random text messages have stopped. Obviously, you don't have any contact left over, and you already had one awkward situation. And you get you know you got through it. You did the right thing, and you moved on with life. And then what happened? So this past semester at Springfield, the first day that I moved in, I'm a junior now, so I moved in. I'm ready for classes. I'm excited. I go to my first class in the morning, and I get out of class, and there's a backup in Lachlan, in Lachlan Hall, and I'm walking out of Lachlan, and I'm walking down the stairs, and who is walking up the stairs but John, and I freaked out, because he was a year younger than me, but he didn't go here last year, so I obviously didn't know, but it turns out that he transferred here this past year, and is now living in, the, in a dorm where a bunch of my friends live, and live right next door to a couple of my best friends. So it's so awkward. Every time I see him, we don't say hi to each other. We don't even make eye contact. And I actually saw him out at a party a couple weeks ago. And oh, it was just, it was really one of the most awkward situations that I've ever been in. Cause so have you ever, has he talked to you at all? Or have you guys, like, no. meeting? So it's we made eye contact that first day in the hallway. And after that, I just avoid him altogether because it's a really, really awkward situation. I, mean, I don't think we'll ever speak again. I believe. So... Well, and there you have it. That's kind of what some people have to go about doing. Whether or not can actually avoid that situation ever again is sometimes out of our control. We just have to deal with it the best way we can. So, with that, that's it for this podcast, and we wish you adieu.